you're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. It is pretty rocket, not gonna lie. He is rocking the, the goatee and stash. Who knew anyone could be so handsome and time stands still? If it isn't my favorite student, Harlan. Colonel Sanders or Noob Sprinkle, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Harlan, please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Slay. And this over here must be sweaty sweat uh, sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe you should open the window back up before Fosse pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Uh. Just a second, nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is with all your really weird insults? <laughs> Besides, when fluff sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that ship. Ew! <laughs> That's nasty! <laughs> hand outstretched. I was something is like this. Boy howdy, this person gets hotter than the Kentucky Fryer. Oh my goodness. Oh my lana. Please use my handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new wallpaper, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How thought? Uh, if the colonel himself offers you something, you better take it. You stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling of transcendent. It has natural scent on it. It smells like the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. <sighs> I know that feeling all too well. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and, <laughs> and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be adorable tiny food. <laughs> and when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Student. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... QUIET! <laughs> late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. With you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you students that tartness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see a student sprinkles his reference in what appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> The class 
class burst into laughter. Oh, clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what, oh, they, bleh, based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had you never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart and but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Chicken snack. Beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite score. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The fairy professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating or with doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously. Pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. <laughs> the key of success is carrying dog treat, guys. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Fluff, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Yes! Colonel Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought notebooks, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishment something. Accomplishing something. <laughs> That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. <laughs> this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Like, what do you mean extremely? Yeah. Forest is tree as chicken is to feather? That's right. Two for two. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Spork? That's right. Three for three. What food is best for a broken heart? Oh my goodness. Woo! Went to the bathroom, broken hearted, went to shit, but only farted. I'm gonna go with the first one, anything as long as it is prepared, with love and not so much salt. That's right, four for four, and Sprinkle's a good boy. He's a talking dog that teaches that color, he is the best boy. Yes! Wow, be honest, did he cheat? No! Hasn't seen flashback sophomore year. <laughs> you look up to see the Colonel, that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. <laughs> Hot diggity fluff. Dog, 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 dog. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? 
Oh, insert the academy is. Attention, attention, may I have all your eyes and ears to the front of the room if only, if only for one second. I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells really good. Everyone can have your attention. Is it about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was- Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was- It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> but I- Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Just box boy. I'm not crazy. I'm just thirsty. Why don't you go to hell? No, you go to hell. While you're there, why don't you grab me a juice box? I'm no juice box boy, I'll tell you that. Yes, you are. She said, Shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? <laughs>